This is the Pal Talk News Network. The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of PalTalk.com, AVM Software, or its advertisers. News Talk is online. News Talk Online, a production of PelTalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the Internet with more than 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube and on my blog, GaryBaumgarten.com, where you're encouraged to post your comments, whether you agree with yours truly or not, no retribution. And thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio, we're syndicated to an additional 12 million households I am your host, Gary Baumgarten, and I welcome you to the show. Uh, what a wonderful, beautiful, uh, stupendous, perfect day. 80 degrees in New York City, low humidity, a uh, cooling breeze, uh, perfect for a walk in the park. I have the best job in the world, ladies and gentlemen, because at 12.30 New York time today, I got paid to take a walk in the park, <laughs> Central Park. And uh, we uh, gave uh, those of you who were here on the Pal Talk News Network a wonderful tour, if I do say so myself, uh, a little taste of what Central Park is all about. I hope it got you interested in coming to uh, New York City. And if any of you uh, go out and shoot video like that or go out with an air card to a different location, whether it's to show us uh, an interesting spot or to cover show us a story that is occurring in your environment, we'd be happy to play it live here on the Pal Talk News Network. I think that would be just great because, uh, let's face it, citizen journalism, uh, pure, uncut, unedited, um, non-spun citizen journalism is where we're going these days. That's where we're getting our news from. A lot of it, anyways, maybe not all of it. Turmoil in Kyrgyzstan, uh, where there has been a coup in the last hour. Uh, there had been violent demonstrations in the street. The president has fled. The foreign minister, the former foreign minister, has, at least for the moment, taken over the reins there. In uh, Rio de Janeiro, streets have turned into rivers uh, due to flooding. Lots of things going on around the world. Lots of important stuff, but what happened in Washington today, ladies and gentlemen, made my jaw drop. The Obama administration is changing the nation's definition of terrorism, expunging the words Islamic and Jihad from the national security strategy. Now, I'm in agreement with uh, the administration's efforts to guard against blanket allegations of terrorism against Muslims. It's unfair. But to ignore that there are extremist Islamists who are using violence as a means to an end is just as wrong and dangerous. And remember, there are, dec there are Islamic states who are involved in terrorist activities, most notably Iran, which sends its surrogates to... Uh, conduct terrorist acts in Lebanon, in the occupied Palestinian territories, in Israel, and in Argentina. In the name of religion. Now, I'm not saying that those who do this in the name of Islam are representative of the main of, 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 of Muslim thinking. They are not. But, you know, the other day, a militant Christian group was taken down in Michigan because it planned a number of terrorist attacks including uh, a killing of a, uh, a law enforcement officer and then when hundreds or thousands of police officers attended that law enforcement officer's funeral they were going to attack them. Now they were a Christian group and we called them a Christian group. No reasonable person would suggest that that group is representative of Christianity, but they were acting 
in some warped way in their mind uh, because they felt that that was their responsibility as Christians. Of course, it's not. But they were a Christian group. Well, nobody is suggesting that we don't refer to them as a Christian terrorist organization because they are. Uh, what about white separatist groups? Are we n not to call them white terrorist organizations? They are not representative of white people in the main, but they are conducting terrorist activities in the name of the white race. Shall we put blinders on and pretend that they are not? Since when is less information uh, about a threat in the name of political correctness a good thing? Perhaps the president would have liked it had he been around back in the days of the Troubles. Maybe he would have met with the IRA and asked them to change their name because, God forbid, they'd be referred to as the Irish Republican Army. It was a terrorist group. They were called Irish Republican Army. How about the, the, the uh, separatists in Spain? Are we to say that the, the boss separatists, we can't call them that any longer? We just call them terrorists? And uh, we will be left to, uh, I don't know, speculate as to what cause they are fighting for? I don't get it. You know, this is a, a blatant attempt at political correctness at a time when we need political honesty. The fact of the matter is the majority of Muslims are not terrorists. The people who act in the name of that religion as terrorists are representative of a very few. In fact, if you really look at the instance, instances of, of, of uh, Islamic terrorism, it is usually one sect of Islam attacking another sect of Islam. And so, <laughs> clearly, those people whose mosques are getting blown up because they don't practice the religion the way the other fellers think that they should recognize that it is in the name of religion that their mosque got blown up or shot up. Uh, and I will tell you, I've been somewhat defensive of the Obama administration on a number of accounts because I believe that some of the criticism of the president has been unfair over the top, some of it racially motivated, frankly. Well, he isn't helping matters uh, by proposing that the national security strategy expunge the words Islamic and Jihad uh, as a qualifier for the term terrorism when referring to Islamic terrorists. He is only providing those who are attacking him as an apologist for Islamic terrorists, he's only feeding them the